Okay, last stretch here. Basically, this is gonna take us into uh, Warnford. So again, new grade, old grade, come together right here now. Um, we got something kind of important kind of with regard to that realignment happening over here. Man, it's, it's 30 already. Can't believe how quick the time. So again, you could see this ridge. Uh, again, I'll mention the forest fire. Uh, and you can see, so you can see the burnt trees. So this is all new growth in here. Now, one of the big issues with this forest fire, forest fire again, burned a lot. Uh, remember 545 square kilometers threatened the community of Beardmore. Um, the fire happened right at the beginning of May. So it was a particularly dry string, uh, spring. Everything was dry, forest fire starts, burning everything. Um, so um, a lot of these areas, it's hard to get into, okay? There's not a lot of access roads and things like that. So the Ministry of Natural Resources uh, is, uh, and, and Ministry of Natural Resources, Forestry and Mines today, I think it's called, um, they're trying to bring in their water bombers to drop water on the fire. They can't because all of the lakes in the area are still frozen. Uh, and I want to thank Frances for that information. She's usually a good source of uh, information for me. So yeah, so they had a heck of a time fighting the fire because um, there was nowhere they could land to scoop water uh, because at the beginning of May, it, had, it was dry, but it had been cold. So the lakes are still frozen. So again, you can see that beautiful, beautiful ridge. Maybe we'll uh, pause and take a picture here. All right, so let's uh, resume our story here about the uh, uh, about the grade. Again, I don't know if I'm going to be showing you video footage of the area. I did that in the previous episode or not.
Um, so when they realign the grade, and I noticed this when I was here the last time, that something was up here. So not only did they realign the grade on the other side of the river, they actually had to realign the grade here because when it crossed the river, the grade was actually over there. So the grade was closer to the ridge. And so because of the, uh, because of the realignment and because they had to skirt around, oops, man, I gotta watch where I'm going. Because they had to skirt around this ridge, they had to pull the grade further out from the ridge. So originally the grade was right in there and went straight across, but because they had to make enough of a, a curvature, right? Remember, railways, trains don't like sharp curves, right? So they have to try to mitigate the curve as much as they can. So they have to pull the grade out over here so they can get uh, a, an ideal grade to kind of curve around that tip of the, uh, uh, cur curve around that tip of the, uh, uh, of the ridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple things here. I'm going to show you a 1934 map that I'll show you the grade the way it was, um, where it's basically on the north side of the river. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, sorry, you know, like I can't notice other things, but look, there's a flanger site. It's in the ground. Let's talk about the flanger site in a second. Okay. So 34 map, you'll see the grade on the other side. I'm gonna show you my CN uh, map that I have and you'll see the widened out um, right of way in this area. And then I'm gonna show you the more modern topographic map um, where you're basically going to see the, uh, the grade as it is. You'll see where Warnford Fit Station's marked on there. Okay, so I managed to extricate this sucker. It was kind of really stuck into the ground. So you can see the flanger sign. I'm guessing this is the flanger sign for the siding here. Um, only interesting thing is that this siding has not been used for quite a number of years. And we're gonna talk about that very, very shortly.